Good morning and welcome to episode number seven of the Jacob's Well Done Show. We have seven episodes, which means now we have as many episodes as there are... Continents. Continents, that's true. And also uh, Land Before Time cartoons. Can you name all the continents besides, besides Hawaii? Well, there's Hawaii, you got North America, South America, Australia, Antarctica, um, uh, um, <laughs> um, um, um. All right, we have Chelsea Thomas here from Skelly Elementary, or Skelementary for short, yeah, if we want to save time. She's going to talk to us about an event that's happening uh, this Monday at Jacob's Well, so take it away. All right, um, like you said, my name is Chelsea Thomas, and I teach second grade over at Skelly Elementary. Um, today we're actually holding a poetry cafe there for kids second through fifth grade, where they'll come in, read their poems that they've been practicing for the last couple of weeks, um, and we're going to have some judges in there to decide, okay, who's doing a really great job? Like Simon in? Cowell or... Um, he, you know, he might uh, make an appearance. I'm not sure. That was the most amazing poem I've ever... Is that what his voice sounds like? Not at all. Well, hopefully he's actually <laughs> that nice, though, if he does yeah. show up. So, <laughs> the you know. poor little second grader. That was ridiculous. I can't even believe it. It didn't even rhyme. Some of them would laugh, while others might I'm have trying. some tears. That's pretty good, though. That would be harsh. Yeah. Hopefully he's not there. No. I'm sorry, what were you saying? <laughs> You're fine. Um, so those judges are going to select 22 students, like I said, second through fifth grade, um, that then on March 2nd, since you have let us come down here. Mm -hmm. um, Which are, is this Monday. Yes, Monday, March 2nd, at 9.45 in the morning until about 11 o'clock, we're going to have those 22 students in here reciting their poems for everyone. So if you'd like to come down and join us for that event, that would be great. So Monday at 9.45 a.m. is when all the festivities are gonna take place. So it should be awesome, we'll see you then. All right, great, thank Thanks you for, for having me. Thanks for being on the show. Bye. Bye. <laughs> mm, a sandwich tray from Jacob's Well. Doesn't it look good? That's about all I can sensually say about a sandwich tray. Call 321-1290 for more information. Well, that was a close-up of one of our sandwich trays, which is one of the more common catering options that we offer. If you have any questions about that or want to place an order, call us at 316-321-1290, or you can visit our website. I love the well.com. All right, we're going to play the alphabet game now. Uh, you'll figure it out as we go along, but Grace and I are each going to say a line, and the line has to begin with the next consecutive letter of the alphabet. I'll start on A. A game is a fun thing to play, wouldn't you agree? But sometimes it could not be fun. Could be, could not be. Don't know. <laughs> Enough. Fine. <laughs> Good. All right, let's hey. play. Hey. I didn't mean anything by it. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Let me ask you a question. My ears are open to you. Now? Oh, yes, they are. Please. <laughs> Quit it. Right. <laughs> so, uh, how was your day? Tacky. The whole day was tacky. Uh, understanding that has been a little hard for me. Can you tell me more? Vikings? Vikings. Which part of your day had Vikings? The xylophone did when I was playing it in band class. You have a xylophone? Zerdu. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so our good friend Abby back there has a few words that we've never heard before. She's going to read them to us, and we're going to have to try and decide what they mean. All right, so what's our first word? Bali who? Bali who? <clears throat> you want you want this one or you want me to take it? You go for it. All right, I think this is. You may be familiar with tally ho, which is what English people will say when they have found a fox. They're chasing him over the English countryside. This is kind of a cousin, uh, vernacularly speaking, to that word. And you yell bali who when you. It's a croquet term. When there's a lost croquet ball and someone finds the lost croquet ball, they yell Ballyhoo. Ballyhoo! So then everyone comes uh, over. And, I thought it actually meant like a loud noise or like ruckus, a big party. What does it mean? Noisy shouting or uproar. 
Is there like one definition, two definition that has in, like a croquet ball? Anything about croquet? I really don't think there I is. I would accept foxes, <laughs> English. Okay. It's okay. All Next right. word. Word number two. <clears throat> crapper. Crapper? Crapper. Crapper. I know what I <laughs> Yeah, we got that one down. <laughs> crapper. All right. Uh, what do you got? Crepper is, um, I think it derives from the Greek word mm -hmm. supper. So crepper is... when supper isn't is, very good. Mom, crepper. <laughs> Come on. It's just a way of saying that was like the crappiest supper we've ever had. Crepper. Kids, it could, crepper. It could not get any crepper than this, Mom. Yeah, <laughs> Way I, to crep it up. <laughs> I agree with that. We're going to say crepper involved. It's a, it's a crappy supper. Next word. What, 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 what does it actually <laughs> no, mean? No, no, no. A leather strap looped under a horse's tail and attached to a harness or saddle to keep it from slipping forward. The rump that of a sounds horse. so uncomfortable. That, may, that sounds kind of like made up. <laughs> it's like wearing your belt around your butt. Like what if the horse had to sit down or something? Molly Coddle. Molly Coddle. Molly Coddle. I have an unfair advantage wife? because my wife's name is Molly, so I'll let you take this one. Okay. Molly Coddle. Molly Coddle, Molly Coddle, Molly Coddle. Should I say more? It's the first part of the sentence, Molly caught a little cold this weekend, and so she's feeling a little under the weather. Molly so, caught a little delicious bass for Molly us. Molly got a little... It's kind of the same thing as, <laughs> yeah, what I was just... Yeah, All right, so what's the last word? Yitten. Yitten. Yitten? Yitten. Yitten with a Y. No, not yitten. It's like when you said mittens. Yitten. There are T's in that word. Two of them. I think I think it's what yodelers. The guy who created the word was like, okay, if I just put one T in there, somebody might want to say yitten. So I'll put two T's in there just so they're sure to pronounce them. Yitten. Don't dishonor the neologist who came up with that brilliant bit of etymology, okay? Yitten. They're a taxologist. Yitten, obviously, to me, I would say, is a year old kitten. It's the day that a kitten becomes a cat. It goes. So it's it a goes. kitten. It's a yitten for one day, and then it's a cat. After no, it's a, year a old. it's a ditten, and then it's a witten, wick, and then it's a <laughs> mitten. No wonder cats are evil. So, what do you think a yitten is? I think. I think that a yitten, yitten, <laughs> is what yodelers call their kittens. The kitten of a yodeler is called a yitten, all right? What's the actual answer, please? Frightened. Frightened? That was my second choice, actually. Like it was really dark and I was a little yitten? That sounds wrong. <laughs> sounds made up. Gosh, I'm so yitten, yitten about this math test coming up. I hope I'm getting an A on this test I'm yitting about. I'm yitting getting an A or not. I don't know. <gasps> All right. Well, thanks for tuning in to episode seven of the Jacob's Well Done Show, folks. Got episode anything you want to add? Episode number seven. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in to episode number seven of the Jacob's Well Done Show, folks. Got anything you want to add? Um, All right, well, thanks for tuning in to episode number seven of the Jacob's Well Done Show, folks. Got anything you want to add? <laughs> well, thanks for tuning in to episode seven of the Jacob's Well Done Show, folks. Don't forget to come in. Got anything you want to add? Well, thanks for tuning in to episode seven of the Jacob's Well Done Show, folks. And don't forget to show up next Monday morning at 9.45 if you want to see a bunch of kids who are probably, would you say, pretty yitten about reading their poems in front of everybody. <clears throat> I would. It might turn into kind of like a ballyhoo after a while. I don't want any of them to crepper. <laughs> <laughs>
don't listen to what everybody else is telling you. Or, I guess, like, behind your back. <laughs> Will you shut up? <laughs> I can't 